Hello there, this is Tom. Uh, today I have a new program for you from Computercraft. Um, it's a remote controllable turtle. You've probably seen it before. Uh, uh, or nothing like this though, but you've probably seen someone get, get up to a computer and press like W, D, A or S or anything and just controlling a turtle and maybe have a display of the turtle. The problem is you can't really you have to look at the screen and you can't really see what the turtle is seeing. And I figure out something really fun that you can do. Uh, all you need is uh, uh, a little separate program here. Uh, I made this myself. I'm going to go over the codes after this. I'm just going to show you. We're running this now. Um, and it's asking us for the location of the computer in the save file. As I said, I'm going to show you this later. Uh, if I click OK, this will just give me the default, which is set to this computer. And we can just take this and leave it down there. And we're going to go in here. Now we're going to run this little test program I made. And as you can see on the clip um, in the um, lower right corner now, you can see I have an Xbox controller right here. And if I press A on this controller, Sweet, eh? And we just press forward, and we can basically control the turtle with the Xbox controller. Just to make sure, I'm hitting the button right there. You can see the turtle is moving while I'm pressing. Um, I can also go backwards. I can even turn it around. Um, I probably blocked it right there, but you can see as I'm clicking, you can see the turtle is moving. Uh, which is pretty cool. I programmed a few um, things uh, into this turtle, like uh, as you all just saw, it can uh, break blocks, it can place blocks. You can change the inventory, the inventory though, so it will only place the blocks it just had in or just mined. Uh, we can go upwards and downwards, uh, backwards forwards, turn around, and I think that's all I programmed into it. So let's take a look at the codes. Let's just uh, bring this guy up here, Repl nope, take it there, and just go back to its original spot. And I'm going to put the Xbox controller down, and we're going to terminate this program. Um, and we're going to terminate terminate this program. Um, let's start with this. This is the program that controls um, the things uh, or the controller. Um, it's made in Game Maker because uh, that's like the only separate program I know how to use. Uh, but I'm going to explain how. So if you know how to make a software yourself, you can just do this. Uh, Game Maker is putting stuff into like rooms and scripts and uh, objects and stuff. So I have a object called controller, uh, and basically what it's doing is it checks for an event. In this case, um, in this line, it's checking for the forward button. That one right there, and if it does, it will change the variable command to forward. And it will execute a script called uh, script move movement, which is this one. Um, every one of these will do the same. It will just change the command to, oops, change the command to to what button you're pressing, basically. Uh, so uh, this it just opens a file. Um, which is called, uh, or it's which is saved in a computer location variable, um, and uh, the variable is um, the information about that is saved in file. Uh, this will write in this file also the computer location. Uh, it will write 
command that you just got so if I press forward it will write forward into this command and backwards it will uh, write back in the command and will then close the, com uh, close the file so it's pretty simple like that it's nothing really huge now the computer location which is this uh, most of this is not uh, for use uh, except this which is the computer um, computer location it will ask me for the string if I don't know how to get it and um, if I'm not putting anything in uh, like I did uh, this line will just place it into movement like where the default location for that is which will not work for in your case because this is set to my computer and not yours uh, this is just some testing stuff so we don't really need it this just, just draws the location there so um, if we run this program uh, or if you're running this program um, you will get this where how do I get the information I'm going to put in here uh, first of all if you're using Fidabeast you have to locate your save file if you're using um, uh, Minecraft, just computer craft by itself you can just find the computer craft um, just find the save file you don't have to do anything specially just locate the save file where the computer is that you need to test uh, in my case it's in a Minecraft folder and here Minecraft Minecraft and when you're uh, here you just uh, find saves uh, in this case we're on the Xbox 360 controller tur uh, turtle uh, world uh, here you're looking for computer and then you're just going to look for the computer number uh, to get that number you just take the computer and you go to Lua Lua and type OS dot uh, computer ID and it says zero which is the computer name in here uh, not there here uh, I already know this zero is uh, the advanced computer and one is the turtle so all you need is just open that and uh, here's a file called move it's important it's called move uh, it will make itself but you have to copy the link for this just click there if you're on Windows 7 and Windows Vista uh, copy and go into the software and paste it in there and fill in just give me a second putting my phone on soundless typing in backslash and move so we will basically have let's just give it more space here you just have to paste it in and type in that when you have that ready you can just press OK and the program is now able to change the move file which is this file uh, which just holds the information on what to do uh, or it's translating the Xbox um, controller pressing into that file and as you can see we can exit Lua here and we can take a list and you will see move will appear as a program here so I can press edit uh, move and you can see I have stopped there so both the J and Game Maker program and Computercraft are able to change that file. Uh, let's go into the test here. Uh, first of all, this will uh, op uh, open the RedNet. Then it will uh, take the get the turtle turtles. Um, what is it called? Um, computer ID and uh, you have to fill that in here so it's basically just in insert computer ID here um, 
in my case it's one it's different for yours uh, terminal clear and set cursor posi position so we don't just spam down uh, the screen like we do here and I'm getting massive frame rate drop right now um, we're saving the file location move uh, in the variable age and we're just making it readable that's what the R means. This is the variable for the file. So if you're not calling a move, you have to change this as well. Um, uh, command is the command, so it will read all the information from the uh, file move, which is save in H, uh, and store it in command, and then close the move um, move file. Then it will write. Um, the command, which could be stop, backwards, forwards, anything like that. Uh, then to keep the turtle from moving, it will open the file again, but this only as writable, that's what the W stands for, and it will write stop. So if the game maker program is not updating the file, it will not make the turtle keep moving. I had problems where the turtle just kept going and I had to make it move either left or right to stop and I was just spinning until I made it do anything else. Again closing, then it's sending um, the information to the turtle, this variable, um, and sending the command, this uh, variable, to the turtle. So back into, let's go into the, let's exit out of this and go into the turtle. Uh, here I have a startup program and uh, it's just opening the modem or the rednet and then it's just receiving um, first C for the computer just there and command uh, and stores the information it gets from rednet receive into those variables it's the command we're looking for, which is the command we got from the other computer. Um, so if command equals stop, which is nothing, then do nothing. Forward, turtle go, uh, go forward. It's just the basic turtle commands down here. I also added a fun little feature down here. If it's running out of fuel, it will place the chat box on top of itself, wrap the peripheral, and display a chat message for you saying I'm out of fuel and I'm getting really bad lag spikes now it's because my hard drive is close to full but um, that's basically all from this software or program let's run it one more time that was my camera turning off um, make sure this is still running there's a glitch with this software uh, in the background, the Game Maker software that will make the, um, the if both the computer and the program is writing the file at the same time, uh, the computer will win and um, the um, the software will fail. So I'll leave a link in the description for uh, the paste bin. Uh, I'm going to remodify it so uh, some information like my personal information and stuff is not um, in it because some of the information is kind of personal and I'm going to blur it out or censor it in this video. But um, um, yeah, I'm going to remodify it so you can download it. Uh, keep in mind this will not work in in uh, like multiplayer, uh, but I have a program in mind that will do that. It will do basically the same, but it has to have a server to connect to, and uh, you have to post the data. So yeah, working on it. Think I might be able to do it. Not sure. 
but that's basically it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. And if you like this, please like, favorite, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.